Hi everyone, my name is Lee and today I'll be demonstrating on how you can integrate single sign-on with Salesforce using Okta. First, let me head over and close out of my video camera so you guys can see my entire screen. And as you can see, I'm in Okta in my dashboard. First thing you want to do is head over to applications and make sure you're in an admin account. And then click on applications again. Click on browse app catalog. If you don't see Salesforce on here, just do a quick search, Salesforce, see our results, and make sure you select the one that supports SAML, which is this one, as you can see. Click on add an integration, and then you can leave this as how it is for the label and the type, instance type, make sure it's production. For custom domain, head over to Salesforce, go to your settings, open advanced setup, and type in my domain. I want to copy this right here. And close out of here. And then just paste it on in Okta. There we go. Make sure there's no spaces. Scroll down and just click on next. For sign on methods, make sure you select SAML 2.0, enable single logout, and then click on view setup instructions. This will redirect you to a KB article with snapshots and instructions on how to configure SSO with Salesforce. So let's scroll down to step six. Let's head over to Salesforce and let's duplicate this page as well. And then on the new page, let's head over to single sign-on settings. Click on edit. Make sure your SMO is enabled. So make sure you check it and then click on save. Let's click on new, Okta SSO, Okta SSO for issuer, go back to your KB article. Under step six, just copy it, paste it. For a daily provider certificate, head over to your KB, click on this link, it's going to download a certificate for you. Then head back over here, click on choose file, and upload that same certificate. Make sure RSA SHA256 has been selected as well. And make sure this looks identical on your end as well. For entity type, I, entity ID, head back to my domain. Copy this right here next to current my domain URL. And then type in HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash and then just paste it. Let's go back to Octa. Right. All right, so let's go back to Salesforce actually. Now for the data provider login URL and the custom logout URL, we need to go back to the KB article and copy this URL, the login URL, paste it, and same thing for the logout URL. Copy it and paste it. We're also going to enable single log out but first we need to take some other steps so let's click on save for now then scroll down click on download um, metadata now let's head back over here so i can explain what i'm about to do so the kb article it tells you to download that that metadata that we just uh, downloaded and copy the certificate that's in there create a new text file type in begin certificate and end certificate and type in that certificate in between the new text file. So let's do that real quick. So go to your download folders, open the XML file with a text editor. In this case, I will be using Visual Studio Code. And here's a certificate. Let's create a new text file. Paste that, that we just got from the KB article. And then let's copy the certificate. Copy and then paste it. All right, and now we can save it. Let's save it as Okta SSO.CRT and save. Now let's head back to Okta. Click on Browse next to Signature Certificate. Upload our new certificate that we downloaded and open it. And then let's go back for the login URL. We will need to go back to Salesforce, copy this, 
paste it on here. And the same thing for the log out URL. Just copy it, paste it. Down below here in the application, username format, select email, and leave everything else as how it is. All right. Oh, don't forget to cl click upload. There we go. All right, we're all good to go. Let's click on done. All right, so next thing we want to do is head back to the KB article. And now it tells us to open this metadata URL in a new tab. So let's copy it, new tab, and paste that. All right, so let's find for the single logout service, which is here. And you will see uh, both, like two of these, but they're essentially the same exact URL. So let's just go ahead and copy the first one. Copy it. Go back to Salesforce, and now we can configure the single logout in Salesforce. Click on Edit, Single Logout Enabled, and then paste it on here. Just click on Save. All right, and that's all set. Now let's head back to Okta. Let's assign it to a group. So click on Assign, Assign to Groups. And let's select everyone. And if you and if you have like like different groups, just feel free to select. Uh, like whichever group that you would like. Click on provisioning now. Now let's configure an API integration for provisioning. So now let's head back to Salesforce. Now let's search for App Manager, New Connected App. Type in Okta SSO. Type in whichever email you, you would like to use. And then scroll down to enable all authorization settings. For the callback URL, I have it on here already. Let's copy it and then paste it. There you go. For available authorization scopes, let's scroll down and let's select where is it? Perform requests at any time and manage user data by APIs. All right. And then make sure you want to select this one right here, PKC, or it will give you issues when you would try to authenticate. All right, everything else looks good now. Now let's go ahead and let's save this. Changes can take up to 10 minutes to take effect. So in this case, it might take it might take us from 10 minutes to 20 minutes before we can authenticate. So I'm gonna click on continue and then I'm gonna go take a 10 minute break and I'll be back in a few seconds so we can continue configuring this all right so now that the 10 minutes have gone by let's go ahead and configure our api so let's head over to manage consumer details it's going to ask you to verify your identity through a verification code so head over to your email and type in your code that you receive click on verify then copy your consumer key, head over to Okta, paste it. Same thing for your consumer secret, and then paste it, and then select Authenticate with Salesforce. All right, then you type in the same, type in the same username and password that you, you use to configure the API. Oh, wrong password. There we go, and then click on Allow. And it should authenticate you now. There we go. And now you should see two app and two Okta. And just feel free to scroll through these and adjust it based on your needs, based on your your project expectations. So now let's test out the single sign-on. So one of my employees' name is Tony Stark. So let's open up a new a window, a new like browser, and let's log in as Tony Stark. So let's click on next. Same thing for the password. And there we go. We should see Office 365, which I, I made another uh, video as well, how to integrate Office 365 with Okta. And we also see Salesforce. So let's click on salesforce.com. It makes you authenticate through Okta. This is something that already is set up as well in a different video, which is our MFA. Oh, give me a second. And there we go. So, perfect. 
that is the end of the tutorial guys so i was able to show you guys on how to integrate single sign-on with salesforce and also on how to configure an api if you try to perform this project at home or it's a project at work, if you're having any type of issues, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my very best to assist every one of you guys. I thank you for watching.